Kopoulos vlogs where today we're going to be talking about the two signings that have just been announced, Ryan Edmondson and Mikel Miller. I just did the Kopoulos preview for Saturday against Oxford United and an hour later they both come in to sign. Uh, typical that is, but we're going to talk about the signings here. Of course, both of them on loan until the end of the season. Ryan Edmondson, of course, under 22, so he's not. Uh, he doesn't need to be registered in the 22-man squad, but Mikel Miller is. Um, so maybe with now two forwards coming in, we could see someone leave. Um, of course, you're only allowed to register 22 players players this season so we could see some departures coming up in the next week or so of course we've already lost Ricky Holmes as well there's been links on Twitter linking Nicky Adams and Harry Smith away from the football club so it's interesting to see what's going to happen but anyways two new signings let's talk about them in this video Signing then, Mikel Miller was announced first. The 25-year-old forward slash winger um, comes in on loan from Rotherham until the end of the season. Uh, was highly linked to the Cobblers back last summer um, when he left Hamilton, but did make the move to the Championship side. This season so far, he's played nine games and not had a goal contribution to his name. Um, but um, after reading kind of the comments on Twitter from the Rotherham fans and the Rotherham manager, it sounds like he's gone on loan to get game time and is still part of the structure but just needs game time and the cobblers are going to offer him it and hopefully he's going to be probably playing majority of the games for the cobblers uh, at his time at hamilton he did do fantastically well getting in you know five goals in one season from the winger's role um, a few assists as well um, so he's clearly a player who has come from non-league as well who has made the step up uh, to scottish football and now is now well, you know back went, went to was was went to Rotherham and now is of course now at the Cobblers so it's going to be interesting to see how he gets on at the Cobblers a bit of pace down that hand side or even up top as well uh, will offer that kind of different for the Cobblers uh, again he was linked to the Cobblers heavily and I'm, I'm sure Keith Curley is very happy to have him and he's probably going to be playing a lot of games as in the interview uh, with the Rotherham manager he basically said that the loan move came because he wants more game time and he's going to be probably playing every game there's going to be a scout every game and we're hopefully going to see him on Saturday against Oxford Low from Leeds United until the end of the season. The first half of the season, he spent his time at Aberdeen. Um, and again, a player that Aberdeen wanted to keep. They did not want to let Ryan leave. Uh, but um, he wanted to move, I think, uh, wanted to come to the Football League uh, and has made the move to the Cobblers. A big striker and will be a threat for the Cobblers. Um, again, you know, the Cobblers have got so many forwards at the moment. You know, Ricky Corboa, Harry Smith, Benny Ashley Seal, Danny Rose. Um, you know, and now adding to Ryan Edmondson and Mikel Miller as well. There's surely got to be someone who's leaving the football club. Um, but Ryan Edmondson does come on loan until the end of the season. Again, 19 years young, so does not count in the 22-man squad for the Cobblers. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how he gets on. I do think he'll do fairly well. Um, I do think he'll fit the Keith Curl system, um, and I really hope he does, and does try and you know score a few goals for us in our aim to keep us in League One this season. I do think these two signings have been good for the Cobblers. I do think we are on track now. Um, you know, I still want a couple more players in, but I think it's important. We've seen that we haven't been that good up top this season so bringing in two forwards is probably the best thing Cal could have done uh, we still probably need a centre back um, and we could even see some departures as well so they might need replacing so who knows but again Ryan Edmondson good signing on loan to the end of the season fingers crossed he can perform as well so that is it then for today's video short and sweet two videos in a day in such because of course it's typical they sign two players as soon as I finish the preview but I hope you guys have enjoyed again two signings hopefully you're going to feature against Oxford on Saturday probably both going to start on the bench um, and probably will both come on unless Mikel Miller might get the start we're not sure but anyways guys I hope you guys have enjoyed of course the window is still open um, and we are probably going to see some departures and some more incomings as well who do you think the Cobblers are going to sign next drop us in the comments below again this part video is in partnership with FanHub uh, all the links and the descriptions you will need are in the description below and the video will be played at the end to tell you a bit more about FanHub so until next time guys I'll see you later